Depending on your age, Simon Baker is either that Aussie bloke from the TV show The Mentalist, or if you're older, the sassy kid who played a cop in the 90s soapy E Street. In reality, Simon is one of our most successful and in-demand international actors. He has his own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and was even once voted the sexiest man on television. But now he's come home to add the title director to his resume. His first feature film is an enormous test of his skill, bringing author Tim Winton's iconic novel Breath to the big screen. There's something special about this tiny pocket of coastline in far northern New South Wales. It's rugged, yet serene. A place the locals try to keep secret, but it's hard when one of Australia's best known actors has rolled back into town. This is a world away from LA and that lifestyle. Yeah. I mean, look around, there's barely yeah. a soul on the beach. It's a busy day. This is a busy <laughs> Growing up, this was Simon Baker's playground. It's a part of me. And it's a part of me that I love. <laughs> the 48-year-old has brought us back to his beloved beach. Not quite fast enough. Where he spent his teenage years surfing these waves. The reason you were late today was because you were out surfing. Yeah, sorry about which, that. Um, I don't it? think you're really sorry. I don't no. think you're sorry at all. <laughs> well, you did say, go, oh, we've got plenty of time, we'll be fine. This is Lennox Head. That was where we caught the bus. On the corner there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Back in the 70s, it was very much a blue collar, working class town. This was your house right here? This little house here. And the guy next door to me, he had the smoothest driveway. Well, so he used to, he used to let me skateboard up and down it. <laughs> Lennox is a long way from Los Angeles. I know what you're thinking. You do. Where Simon spent 20 years as one of Hollywood's highest paid television stars. You're a very, very strange kind of policeman. But in a rather poetic twist, he's come full circle. I'm almost 50. You look back at that period of time, mm. that's Robert Palmer, the rooster. Um, I was waiting for him to make an appearance. And you, you look at one period of your life and, and it's probably... <laughs> You're not in Hollywood anymore. <laughs> Embracing his rustic roots, it's almost like Simon was destined for his latest role directing his first feature film. It's not about the thoughts in your head. A story which could so easily be his own. Surrender is what frees you up to be completely in the moment. About a young surfer coming of age in a small coastal town. It's an adaptation of Tim Winton's famous Australian novel, Breath. What a challenge you took on with this. You, you act, you direct mm. and you co-produce. I don't think I'd live that's... past uh, in the next June <laughs> if I had to keep doing that. But it's fun. And the boys break through the frame and we come back over into here. Yeah. yeah. So how many sleepless nights? A lot. Yeah, still. No. Yeah. I didn't sleep that well last night. You're worried about this. I was worried about you, yeah. <laughs> you should be. I've what is she going to ask me? Going, yeah. All smiles and then straight through. <laughs> what do you reckon? Hippies. That's what I reckon. Set on a remote beach in Western Australia, the story follows two teenage boys, Pikelet and Looney, who develop an obsession with surfing. And hero worship Simon's character, Sando. Ah, here they are, Heckle and Jekyll, looking for trouble. He took a huge risk when he cast two young surfers, Samson Coulter and Ben Spence, who'd never acted a day in their lives. They were extraordinary. They yeah. almost showed you up. Yeah, no, I think they did. Oh. I'll surf that one day. You dare me? I dare you to dare me. How hard was it to keep them focused on the acting when, really hard. when the waves were good? Oh, really hard. Like, are you kidding? It's sort of ridiculous. It's like wrangling cats. <laughs> They're impossible. 
I looked over at one point, they're over there in the grabbing on the electric <laughs> fence and grabbing onto the other kid and giving each other shocks like through themselves. <laughs> you know, I thought if I can just get that sort of energy mm. between them and we're going to be fine. You're a coward. I thought I brought men above the ordinary. But it was a film that almost didn't happen had it not been for his wife. Well, wasn't it something that Beck said to you that got you across the line? Yeah, she said something that was incredibly uh, uplifting. Honey, there's a lot of crap films, so, so what if yours is just another one? <laughs> you know, which goes into the lexicon of great <laughs> quotes from my wife, <laughs> inspiring quotes. should <laughs> have saved you. There was nothing you could do. Beck is Simon's wife, Rebecca Rigg. I just want you to know that I love you very much. A fellow actor, they played love interests on the 90s soapy E Street. See, Sam. And 27 years later, are still together, <laughs> raising their three children. You're pretty good, Simon, but your wife is where it's at. No, I know, don't worry. <laughs> I know that. How many people have been telling you that over Everyone. the past? Everyone I meet. Mean, it's like, you know, I do okay. Like, I, if I meet people first and they're like, yeah, we like Simon. And then they meet my wife and they forget my name. You were in your 20s when mm -hmm. you and your wife took a huge gamble mm -hmm. and left very steady, good paying acting jobs in Australia. You had a young mm -hmm. child to kind of chuck yourself out there in Hollywood. Did you mm. feel brave? I, I, I didn't feel like we were brave at that time. I, I felt like it was more of, kind of more of an adventure, mm. you know. We, 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 had a, we had a little bit of money. We, we sort of figured out that if we ate uh, potatoes and rice, that we could probably last two months there. Mm. And then we could come back and if all else fails, you know, I could probably, you know, knock on the door and get a job on Neighbours or something. No potatoes and rice for the bakers. Simon quickly landed a small role in the cult film L.A. Confidential. You need a drink, kid? Yeah. But he would become a household name thanks to The Mentalist. I'm a good Women just adore you. Maybe I'm, I'm probably older than you and I love you. Nobody has ever made Barbara lick her lips like she did. And with that came his own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. It's gonna be a good fire. But that means little to his mates back in Lennox. Here we go. Yeah, she's going. John Stewart, or Stewie, has been pals with yeah, Simon since they were surf-mad 15-year-olds. They've shared some crazy adventures together. Not that they're letting any slip. And I'm not going to reveal any key stories. No, 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 no you, You've sworn no, no, into no, secrecy, no, no, haven't you? No, no you never. No, absolutely not. Oh. Only because most stories implicate him as well. Anyway, <laughs> That's so, right. I mean, I want to say it. You know, <laughs> <laughs> we go down together. That's fine. That's fine. Simon is noticeably more relaxed in the company of his old mate. What was Simon like as growing up? He was a thinker. Mm. Yeah, he was a thinker, but he also, you know, uh, he wasn't Simon. He was Smiley. So his nickname was Smiley. You know, I like being around him. <laughs> yeah. Not many because, people say that. Well, you know, but it's a, it's a friendship <laughs> where, it's, where it's just easy. You, know, fit, you fit right in here. <laughs> yeah, you yeah you're right North in. Coast ways. I say cheers to yeah, yeah, such cheers. long, great friendships. Yeah, yeah they're good. Yeah, cheers. cheers. And Sunset. Not content with reaching the heights of Hollywood, Simon has put everything on the line with his new film, Breath. That's what I'm missing, he had nothing to prove and plenty to lose. But as is his way, he's a risk taker. And with that comes vulnerability. It's been a fantastic experience for me. It hasn't been without its problems. Mm. You know, it's taken a toll at times on my uh, family life, because it's it's such a big elephant in the room all the time. And now you're just waiting for public opinion. No, I let go. I have to let yeah. go. I have to. You're not worried about it, though, are you? Yeah, I'm a worrier, Ali. I worry about everything. Look at me. I'm a worrier. You know, the worry's always going to be there. As a person, as a, you know, an artist, um, as a wanker. Whatever, you know what I mean? But I'm not going to let that... Did you just that... call yourself a wanker? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> and 
on that note, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> I beat you to the punch. <laughs>